strange lighting effects, I may have to add a light to my left so the shadow doesn't make me look like I got a black eye on my left eye. Hi there, Lisa. Good evening and God bless you. Uh, since this goes on Twitter, uh, I, I can't wait to see what, uh, what if anything, uh, Ryan has to say uh, about what I'm going to say tonight. But Ryan Lestrange made me laugh tonight. And I'm going to tell you why. And uh, I almost wasn't going to come on tonight, but I, this kind of tickled me. Maybe it shouldn't have, I'll be honest with you, maybe it shouldn't have made me laugh. But it, the, the irony of it did make me laugh. Okay. It was a meme that that, uh, that he put out on his on his Facebook, and it got shared by a bunch of people. So some people who were friends of mine uh, shared it, so I saw it in my feed. And it said this. This is what the meme says. A prophetic ministry becomes explosive when the prophet is delivered from self-promotion and man-pleasing. Then, under that, it says ryanlestrange.com. Hashtag prophesy. And all these people are saying amen and, 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 and saying how awesome this is and, and they're agreeing with it. And, and somehow, none of them get it that this is self-promotion. He's talking, that, he's saying that a prophetic ministry becomes explosive when the prophets delivered from self-promotion and man-pleasing. But here he is, not only is his name on the meme, but his website is his name. Who is this about, brother? So yes, Ryan Lestrange... I award you no points. May God have mercy on your soul. And all of you who said amen to this meme, I award you no points. Again, may God have mercy on your soul. Now, let's examine this in light of Scripture. You know, uh, Jesus had said, uh, actually, it wasn't Jesus that said it, it was, uh, it was Paul that said it, but it says about Christ. It's a, it's a Christ principle here. Uh, and so that he made himself no reputation, took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. Now, so Jesus wasn't out to make a reputation for himself. Now, his miracles made a reputation for him. What he taught made a reputation for him. But he what he didn't do any self-promotion. But I found it hilarious that he's talking about that a, pro a prophetic ministry becomes explosive when you're delivered from self-promotion. But here he is doing exactly that. In fact, the whole, per the whole reason why he put out this meme in the first place was for the express purpose of bringing eyeballs to his website, which oddly enough is named after him. Now, I, I, I'm going to, full disclosure, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not saying self-promotion in and of itself is necessarily a bad thing. Back when I had a, a life coaching business, my website is sam-medina.com. I'm not shy about that, but I'm not pretending that it's not. Any, I'm not saying, no, I, I don't promote myself at all. I'm not going to say that because that would be highly hypocritical. And uh, I, I do some promotion of this ministry. Maybe not as much as I could. If I really wanted to be self-promoting, I'd be prophesying all the time. If I really wanted to be self-promoting, I'd, uh, I'd never criticize anything ever any other leader ever had to say. In fact, I'd back them up in whatever wild heresy they had to say if I, if I wanted to get somewhere in the world of ministry. I would have never opened up my mouth about any of the problems in the church at any time, and I'd be my calendar would be full right now. But it's funny that, that uh, you know, this is self-promotion. And I'm not saying it's wrong to, to to do some kind of promotion of your ministry and all that. I mean, I'm on Twitter and Facebook and all that. But I'm not looking to promote Brother Sam. I'm looking to promote the message of the ministry. I'm looking to promote what we're doing. In fact, for quite a few years, uh, when I did street ministry, I almost never told my, people my name. They would ask me and I would refuse to tell them. You don't need to know my name. God healed you. Who I am doesn't matter. And there's a whole bunch of people in Trenton, New Jersey who have gotten delivered from demons, healed of all kinds of sicknesses and whatnot, got all kinds of miracles, and then they will never know the name of the guy who prayed for them. So I, I think I'm in a position where I can actually say something about this. Uh, but it, it, it made me laugh. I, I laughed about this because... It, it, it was just so silly. How do you say that? And, and this is the condition of the church, folks. 
that someone can say this, a prophetic ministry becomes explosive when the prophet is delivered from self-promotion and man-pleasing, and then right under that is their name, which happens to be the URL for their website. The only purpose of posting that was to promote that website. So it's it struck me as funny, but the, 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 the hypocrisy of it is 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 absurd. But what also struck me funny, I'll admit, maybe I'm, I'm wrong for finding this funny, but I was somewhat amused by the fact that most of the people who follow him, would, would, in fact, everybody who follows him, would, would, uh, would completely agree with this statement and not even notice that the only purpose uh, of him putting that out there was for self-promotion and not anything else. You're not looking to edify the, edify the kingdom. What, what are you really saying with this statement? If you really want, if you're really looking to edify the body of Christ, you would be telling them how to get delivered from self-promotion and man-pleasing. You'd point them to some resources about that. You'd say you'd have something more to say instead of saying something that you, that will sound uh, profound to some people who don't know better. But the whole purpose was to was to promote the website. The hypocrisy is hilarious, and, and the fact that the, the saints can't even pick up on it is... Maybe I shouldn't find it funny. Maybe I should find it tragic. I mean, how dumb have we gotten <clears throat> that we can't tell someone who's just doing shameless self-promotion? Now, that having been said, I, I, is, it, is it wrong to, to, to promote what you got to offer? Not, no, not, I don't think so. When it's done like this, this is, this is a sheer and hilarious progress. So, Ryan Lestrade, shout out to you, brother. You, you, you made my night. I was actually having a pretty rough day. Well, it actually wasn't that bad a day. It was just physically rough because I had to do a lot of stuff today. And I'm, I'm really tired. And, uh, and uh, if it wasn't for a particularly large dose of ginger tea, I'd be in a whole lot of pain right now. Uh but I suspect I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hurt tomorrow, but I got more to do. Anyhow, uh folks, this is something we gotta stop. That we do this thing in, in especially in social media, you see it all the time. Ministries do this all the time. They always they wanna have something to say every day and they will try to concoct something that they think will sound profound and will sound deep and will sound spiritual when the whole purpose of it uh, no I don't think God would ever allow me and God barely allows me to make a living so I don't think he'd allow me to prostitute my gift yeah, I went to Wall Street God only allowed me to make millions of dollars for other people so uh, yeah uh, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, and, uh, but this is what people do. They, uh, they, they, they try, and the funny thing is, it's gotten to a point where in their attempt to sound deep and to sound spiritual, to have something that sounds interesting on a regular basis, and it's not even because they're trying to help you, it's not because they're trying to, to, to do, to, to edify you. They're just trying to have an excuse to keep their name in front of you. It's called marketing. Internet marketers do this all the time. You get on their mailing list, they send something either every day or at least once a week or two or three times a week. I know because I'm on, a, on, the, I'm on the mailing list of a whole bunch of people. And there's a bunch of them. I get emails from them all the time. The only difference is they actually sometimes send me information that's actually useful. Because one of the things they teach in the personal development industry is that you de deliver value first. You want to get a customer, you deliver something of value. You give them, you give your audience something that they can use right now. And if you are as good as you say you are, you got so much that you can give away a whole lot of, of free information. You give give away a whole lot of of, uh, of material that is highly valuable for absolutely free in the, in an effort to attract customers because you got so much. Yeah, it's self-aggrandizement. Now, but the thing is, they don't give you something of value because if you look at this statement, it doesn't do anything for you. Yeah, the 80-20 rule is part of it. 
Well, it's not even the 80-20 rule. It's just the principle of, of delivering some value. You know, like uh, our little ministry, we've got, I think we're closing in on 340 different videos that you can watch for absolutely free where you can learn uh, learn the word of God and <clears throat> learn about the prophetic and the apostolic and all that other stuff. And, uh, you know, we got a couple books that we sell for three bucks. You know, we got one course on, on the prophetic that uh, apparently I, I'm charging way too little uh, if, I, if I go by what everybody else charges. Um... Everybody else is charging like four thousand and ten thousand and nine thousand dollars for their prop their uh their prophetic schools. Some of them are charging even more. Um mine is hundred and seventy five dollars. And people give me trouble about that. And it's like uh you don't have to take the prophetic school and you're gonna learn a whole lot from me for free anyway. Uh but you deliver value first. And then if anybody it's become by delivering so much value, you, you so at one point you, you end up getting customers, at least in, in principle. Uh, in the business world, it works. In, in, in ministry, it doesn't really work that, that much. Uh, actually, it doesn't, almost doesn't work at all. Uh, because if you, give, if you give people a lot for free, they don't value you at all. They don't, for the most part. That's why these guys do this, but in such they they make such an effort to have something to say uh, just to keep their name in front of you. To the way the internet marketers do, they want because what what is familiar to you is easier to accept. What becomes familiar, it's easier to like something that is familiar to you, and so they try to become familiar to you. So it's they become a household name. They you see their name all the time, and so you still it. it for most people, especially if you're weak-minded or if you don't know what know the game they're running on, you you actually start to like them, especially if they have a, some things to say that are at least kind of interesting or seem to be okay. And then what ends up happening over time is they have an opportunity to sell you something. But these guys do it without actually giving you. They, they do it content-free. They do it without actually giving you anything of value. Because what do you gain from this? A prophetic ministry becomes explosive when the prophet is delivered from self-promotion and man place. Okay, you didn't, you didn't really teach anybody anything. And exactly what did you teach with this amazingly uh, hypocritical meme? Because your name is on it, your website is on it. The only reason you posted it was to keep your name in front of people and to get them to go to your website where they can invite you to preach or buy your stuff. Wasn't any other purpose behind it. And what I'm finding over the last few years is uh, the people I know in the personal development industry actually have more integrity than the preachers do. Because <clears throat> I know some people like Jerry Robert or Raymond Aaron and a, and a bunch of other guys who are motivational speakers and whatnot. And uh, like Jerry, Jerry does this thing where he teaches you how to publish a book in order to promote your bit, whatever business you have, and use it to create success in your business. He'll actually teach you how to do it for free. They do a, a weekend boot camp uh, that they don't charge any money for. And he'll teach you absolutely everything you need to know how to do it. If you want to do it with him, he's going to charge you $20,000. But you can learn how to do it by yourself for free. By comparison, the preachers, you watch their program on TV, you might get 15 minutes of preaching for free. And then if you want to hear the rest of the sermon, you got to buy it. Now, you can probably watch their sermon on YouTube if somebody else posted it without their permission, but that's about it. Uh, but it made, it made me laugh, and, and folks, we, we, we got to steer away from this, because inevitably what happens when people make this, this tremendous effort to always have something to say, uh, especially in social media, to promote their website, to promote their ministry, to keep their name out in front of you, what ends up happening is eventually they expose their own hypocrisy. Right here, he, he did it. Most of them are not going to get it. I probably lost a few Facebook friends over this. I may lose some some, uh, some Periscope followers. Hey there, Talia G. Good evening. God bless you. But it, it cracked me up. Because this, this is how bad it's gotten. And, and the thing is, okay, if, if indeed you're delivered from self-promotion and, and your prophetic ministry is explosive, why aren't you ministering? Why are you saying this?
But, uh, oh well, it is what it is. And folks, it's it's not that hard to have something of value to say. Heck, and even in this this little uh, short rant of mine, uh, if you were listening closely, you, you may have caught some things that are highly useful. Particularly if you have a business. Those of you who are a little wiser than the others probably wrote down the name Jerry Robert and decided to look him up. And, uh... But it's it's not surprising. This has become this has become the norm in in, in modern ministry, and it's it well it's 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 kind of been that way for quite some time. Maybe it's always been that way. I don't know. I, I've only been alive forty two years. It's just more obvious now that social media has made it so easy to do. Because now you don't have to send, <clears throat> you don't have to send letters and pay postage to to send stuff out to you know twenty thousand people. That's expensive. You can do it for free on Facebook. You can do it for free on Twitter. And like I said, you know, promoting what you got to offer isn't a bad thing, but saying something like this is amazingly stupid. I am a strange. I award you no points. And may God have mercy on your soul. Some of you will get the movie reference. I can't. I, I always forget the name of the movie. Uh, but if if you Google, I award you no points. Uh, You'll find a video where, where the movie of that is uh, Billy Madison. There's some kind of quiz show going on, and and the main character gives an incredibly stupid response, and the, and the man moderating it says, "You know that was the most insanely idiotic thing I've ever heard in my life." At no point in your rambling, incoherent response was there anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points. You may God have mercy on your soul. And, uh, but, and, and, and I'm being humorous here, but I'm trying to bring some humor to this, but, but the truth is, this is an awful thing to do. Saying, stop falling for this nonsense. And Ryan, brother, you, you can do better than that. Maybe you need to shut up every few days. If you don't really have anything useful to say, it's okay to not post something on social media every single day if you really don't if you can't come up with something every day because posting something like that i mean sure you you're you're uh you're you're raving fanboys and fangirls who will never never see anything wrong with you you can do no wrong on their site it's okay with them but you lose guys like me people actually think for themselves you lose the people who are studying the word. You lose the people who have any powers of observation. Then maybe that's what you want. Maybe it is. I don't know. Anyhow, uh, that's it for this broadcast. We're going to do another one in, in a couple of minutes. Because uh, I don't want to drag this out. Uh, I, I did find that somewhat amusing. And I felt, uh, I felt it... it, it it, it required some some immediate attention. I'll see you guys in a, in a few minutes. Brother Sam signing out.